I cast confusion. I'm already confused. <laughs> That's pretty great. No. Alright, so Buddy, if you can go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh dear. take reactions, and you have to roll a d10 at the start of each round to determine your behavior. Okay. Right. Are you staying put or are you moving away, Hazel? I am going to back away! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, buddy, go ahead and roll a d10 for me. Oh, that's a nat 20. Oh, no. Why are we fighting? Oh. Hazel, you're up. Um. I love this so much. <laughs> oh. Hazel, you're up. Um. You know what, I don't quite know, big guy, but I'm quite sorry. And I take out uh, another cylinder, and I slap it in. Are you playing <laughs> And out of my horn, I cast color spray, bad buddy. Oh, oh. poor buddy. <laughs> this is the rainbow thing. I love colors. <laughs> I'm shooting them for the first time. <laughs> glasses that make his eyes look abnormally large. Also, Hazel, what I'm, you I am going to cast it at third level. <laughs> level. That's how they talk to the old days. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. So that should be the next ten d ten damage. No, no, you won't be any ten to see the Okay. Go. First three. Ooh, got a crap. So that's ten. Uh, twenty one twenty six. That was. Yeah. Four more. Here we are at 26. 35. And one more. 39 damage. That is not damage. That is how many hit points are we using that way? 39 hit points that will only affect Buddy. Do you have Dark Spring? Buddy, do you have more than 39 hit points for Way more. It has no effect on him, unfortunately. Oh. He's a much tougher. A much tougher ogre than those you might be used to. Oh, <laughs> Even though if he was hit by it, does that mean he's still blinded by it, or no, not at all? Uh, it, unfortunately, it only affects a certain number of hit points of creatures. Oh. That's okay. 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 Are we done there? <laughs> it's like I'm drunk! <laughs> uh, um, uh, that's dumb. I don't want to do that. I am such a support class. <laughs> no, I'm a bard in a one-man fan suit! <laughs> I will wink at him. 
and and give him a little bit of a, a, a boost. I'll I'll, fla I'll flash my genius at him and give him a plus four to that roll. All right. Is this a, is this a wisdom save? Yes. Plus four, not a D four, or a plus four. Plus four. Seventeen. Does that succeed? Seventeen for the confusion. Yeah. Seventeen is what you need. All right. You have your turn, buddy. You now the spell fades. You have control. He slowly swings his head over to Macaroni and says, I thought you were here to make friends. Aww. And he starts running towards the dwarf and after 10 feet leaps. I want to be friends. I want to be friends. I want to be friends. So that's 35 feet and then he closes the distance and he's holding this gigantic brass or golden jewel studded glove that he was just given. I, I like you. I like you too. <laughs> First one misses. That's a uh, 13. Miss. The second one is a 27. Definitely hits. One second. Uh, not too bad. That's caught. <laughs> it's a pyramid. How did it get caught? Uh, 13 points of damage. And I'm going to use action surge. Uh -huh. First one is caught between 11 and 13. I should have kept it. <laughs> <laughs> That's 17. Hits. And the second one hits too. So, the damage life. Yeah. The first hits for 13. And My the last job. one hits for 12. <laughs> Hello, lady. Oh. Hello, big man. Hazel, <laughs> okay, so your turn. Son of a bitch. Take a bath, man. Yeah. 
Oh shit. Alright, so that's for the 8d6. Fire radiant damage happens, so go roll that up there. So that's 25 points of fire damage reduced to 12. Uh, 24 points of radiant damage reduced to, I don't know, 11? Oh, that's great! Yeah. I saw more as 
honorable truce, but you know. It's uh, now that Damien reappears. Oh, shit, I'm about to look at the Boy, that was a hell of a place. That's a pretty cool trick. No problem. A lot better when I'm on your side. Yeah. I was just going easy on you, though, because you're really small. We just tell the others to go away? That's true. No, no, no. We, uh, we need all the help we can get. I, um, I, I'll come clean with you guys. I, I've been alone for quite some time now. No one wants to adventure with me anymore. I, I can't seem to attract anyone. We've tried flyers and magical means of advertising. And no one wants to be the bang every day. Well, maybe it's because you take away their treasure. Well, that was the point. Oh, the ring.
that you could use some work on your marketing campaign. I am more than willing to help you on your outreach. Do you cry? Is this like a thing that you do? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, I want to do good in the world. <laughs> and no one wants to come with me. I learned some that, Father. Uh, Love my heart. Okay. No, it's okay. I'm fine. Right, I give my heart. Final wishes. Oh, 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 that's an ogre house. Uh, I can see your tears. <laughs> That's from the smell? Uh, thank you. If you will all have me, I would gladly welcome you all to the Terry and Barrington Brigade as probationary members. Provided that you perform well in What the? Buddy lifts Terry in the air. I could have sworn that you all died. Steps up this point like, well, if that is where we are, should we give them quarters then? Oh, yes, yes, uh, welcome to my home. Uh, welcome to our home. We, um, I hope no one's allergic to dogs. We have three lovely pups running around. There's Barry, Carrie, and Danny. That's short for, that's short for Max and Dad. Um, Yum. <laughs> now, how do you know it's dogs? All right. Yeah, Mr. Albear, you might want to, like, just stay a little further away. Oh, yeah, I got that. Toast to it. Drink from your meal. Hear 
Earth to sight. A dull rumble in the distance. Oh, we should make a wish. That's scary.
has come to my attention that a strange object... You know what? I'm gonna stop you right there. Uh, brigade! Brigade! Uh, 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 mount up! No, uh, form up! Form up! Form up, Brigade! We need you in here! <laughs> <laughs> one by one, you all gather down in the foyer area of the estate. Uh, they're revealing a, a freshly brushed Tyrion Darrington and this older nobleman whose arms are crossed and kind of... Not impatiently, but expectantly waiting for your arrival. I had my hair brushed to Hazel. Um, uh, this is a client's brigade. Um, we, <laughs> we get clients like these all the time in the brigade, so it's pretty normal. But anyway, go on, what's your job? Well, uh, my name is Mr. Tudor Tudorsky, and I, uh, it's come to my attention this last evening. Uh, a strange object fell from the sky, crashing somewhere within the Siren Green Forest to the south of here. I would like to hire you to retrieve whatever fell and bring it back to me. Uh, you, you have no idea what this object is? Could it be some, some sort of celestial body? Was it a, a meteor? It might be. Perhaps it was a creature, and if it is, so do it and bring it back to me. If it's an object, gather it and bring it back to me. I cannot process. Just bring it. Where did it fall? To the south of here, the Siren Queen. Oh, um, well, that seems... That seems extremely treacherous and probably very expensive. Yeah, you said this fell in the Siren Green Forest? Is that what you just said? That is exactly what I said. Shit. <laughs> Does that mean anything to you? No, I've never been there. Oh. It's the forest, directly south of Deanstock. Sure, sure. Um, what, uh, uh, pardon me while I confer with my fellows. What do I charge for this? I have no idea. I have no idea. You're my manager? Uh, well, you should always put yourself higher, because okay. you can always negotiate less. Ten gold. No, no, what? no, 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 no. And you should okay. always confer with your manager oh, first. Sorry. Um, uh, let's see, all right, there's, uh, there's, like, uh, there's seven of us, so we have place. Let's round up, let's do ten thousand gold. Ten thousand gold. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain, but I accept your proposal. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the older gnome woman, this master of Tversky's head, turns slowly towards you, Macaroni. The eye is suddenly flashing with some strange temporary energy. Ten thousand is gold. That sounds... Uh, what does that mean? Yeah, but, uh, hold on. Uh, if we bring back said object, is there an additional payment? You know what I mean? Like, when I can deal, it's like an X amount of money for a body or whatever. It's like nothing. But just like, what is the thing? Because you said there's like some objects in there. If we pick them up, bring it all back together, is it like if it's complete, we can, you know, get extra money if we find the pieces? Make persuasion. Yeah. And I will give her a bardic inspiration. Oh, and I will reach out and endeavor to them. Whoa. Oh, no. What do we want? D4. Plus, what's your D? D10. Wow. D4 to D10. Roll a 10 first. Shit, I don't have a 10. I don't have a 10. Oh, oh boy, uh, 13. With all that? Wait, what? <laughs> the job was to retrieve the object and bring it back. I understand. I, I think I'm thinking like a different kind of line of work. It's yeah, it's all right. Yeah, this is just a, a, an object. Retrieval. I'm sorry for Object it. creature, I'm uncertain. Whatever it was that fell, please bring it back to me. Any other details you can tell us, uh, Madam Tversky? Unfortunately, no. This is a relatively recent occurrence, and, um, you know, adventurers have their purpose, which is generally to, uh, to be the first on the scene. Well, you've come to the right place. Uh, thank you very much for your patronage. And uh, where will we meet you here? When you return with the bounty, you can find me within the Rose Nestle Inn here in Glastock. Fine establishment. Well, uh, before I leave, uh, would you please sign my copy of your book? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Would you like me to make it out to you? I'm not just a signature sign. You're not going to resell this, are you, on eBay no, or something? No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Terrian Darrington, XXOO, Kiss Symbol, Heart, more X's, more O's. There you are. Thank you, Kaiji. All right, well, good luck to all of you. I look forward to your return. Goodbye. She turns around and starts exiting out across the drying lawn of the big gates. Bye, Mr. Darrington. Oh, yes, we have a job. I mean, we have a job like always. Might I suggest in the future, anything you sign, you check for invisible ink. You'll never know what it is you're signing. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, I, I bet 
you some time. Yeah, I'll take you up on that. All right, we're on the road. Yeah, okay. Well, um, we have a, a, a bona fide adventure on our hands, Kate. Uh, gather your things because we are skipping breakfast and moving straight to the action. Uh, I don't know about skipping breakfast, but it is super fun to break with. Come on, man. We want to have adventure for brunch instead. Yes. 
is actually down by the crater's edge. You can see a few uh, sheep that appear to be either like grazing or animals that may wander into the space. I'm trying to be stealthy about this. So I think that's fair to say. Yes. There's nothing to hide. I didn't know the uh, the man is there. I mean, aside from the the, the pine-like trees that are all turned at an immediate horizontal angle, and the branches that have been completely culled of leaves, it, it's like a loose tangle that you can try, but it's not very easy. No, and I, yeah, I don't really know that. I can try and check the traps. I'm not sure how that works. But. So we just watch him as he crouches, totally visible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> climb a couple trees too, just to get vantage points. Okay, the highest you can get on any of these fucking trees is about three feet. I'll do it. All right. Fire merch. Up top. <laughs> Signaling you guys to continue. <laughs> Your standing positions give you a better perspective than the owl bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. No! <laughs> ah. Fuck you! Yeah. Oh, that's fucking hilarious.
Sure, let's do this. I want to double check this cave again. Hey, buddies. Ow! Right in the middle of them, why not? Alright, let's check it out here, so we got... Just in case... Yeah, yeah, roar, roar to you too. I absolutely need this just to see. It's almost down. Oh! Now he's down. And <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on them. Okay, 
anything else? No. So, it's telling me is. Ah, crap. Yep, that's about right. Swear to God, though, if they're back, which they shouldn't be because I have their soul, but if they're back... <sighs> so what is a Ring of Giants, anyways? Okay. That actually did it. Oh, that's right. No! Wrong one. Excuse me? And like every undead, you have no future. Huh. Oh my, don't mind me. Yeah, sure. I'm just talking amongst myself. But if you find the need for a truer dark, then meet again. We shall. Whatever, Yoda. The dark is still nascent mm -hmm. within you. Fuck you. Oh, that works. Jokes on you. I have no idea where I'm going. Huh. Oh. 